हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम मिस दिव्या वर्मा अगेन विथ यू ऑल फैकल्टी ऑफ सोशल साइंस क्लास सेवन माउंट लिटरजी स्कूल झांसी स्टूडेंट्स होप सो यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड स्टेइंग एट होम सेफली ओके स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव कवर्ड लेसन नंबर वन ऑफ जियोग्राफी वी हैव कवर्ड देयर वॉट इज इन्वायरमेंट वाई इन्वायरमेंट इज चेंजिंग ओवर टाइम then we have talked about components of environment in that we have talked about first components of first component of environment that is natural environment in that biotic and abiotic have been studied live biotic is living things and abiotic refers to the non living things that is hydrosphere atmosphere and lithosphere these three air water and uh, air water and land when merges forms an biosphere forms a biosphere As I told you that biosphere is that zone of the earth where land, water, and air, that is lithosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere, interact with each other to support life. This forms the zone of biosphere, and these biosphere can be further divided into producers, consumers, and decomposers. That means these three producer, composer, and decomposer. Uh, consumer and decomposer these three forms the biosphere and a food chain now let's talk about ecosystem do you know what an or, or what on earth make the ecosystem it is a system formed by the interaction of all living organism with each other and with the physical and chemical factors of the environment let us know more about ecosystem uh, with the help of a story now here was as we have talked about the ravi's class about ravi's class in the last chapter also we'll further on ravi's class was attending once an nc uh, ncc camp there was a girl in that group named jessie of kerala who exclaimed what a heavy downpour this downpour reminds me of my hometown in kerala you should any time come and see how it pours over the last green fields and coconut plantation there only hira from jaisalme exclaimed that we get no rain at the at my hometown there we can see only kicker and san ravi said you can see camels also then hira said not only camels snakes are also there okay ravi wondered then about these dogs and said why do the animals vegetation and the way people live vary from place to place are all they related to each other the teacher replied oh yes these all are these all the peoples of different places vary from place to place as they are all related to each other so this defines that all plants animals and humans are interdependent on the immediate surrounding this relation between forms and ecosystem okay now let's talk about the next component human component human made component consists of the things objects which are made by humans not by nature but by humans so human made is the component which are which consists of the object which are made by humans not by nature next component we'll talk about the human component next is the human environment or the human component now this human component we can talk here it comes the individual then we can see family community there are numerous factor now these human beings interact with the environment and modify it according to their need early times human adapt themselves to the natural surrounding they led a simple life and fulfill their requirement from the nature around them then with the time what happened is needs also grew up means they learn how to grow crops domesticate animal and this all with this increment with this um, further changes they led a very settled life then wheel was invented many new new machines were invented surplus food was produced barter system emerged barter system is what it is a trade in which the goods were exchanged without the use of money then again then after some time trade started and commerce developed many industries were made and these industries when uh which brought some changes and these changes emerged over time this all we can say these all the activities are considered under the human component students have you heard about why you love eating a juicy watermelon juicy watermelon in summer and hot roasted peanuts in winter as we all live on the earth in which a form of ecosystem that means everything is interdependent on each other on the uh, immediate surrounding that covers 
so a perfect balance is necessary between the natural and human environment so we humans must always learn to live in our surrounding and use our environment in a very harmonious way now as people set up industries forest cleared pollution increase which had in turn led to global warming what is global warming global warming refers to the rise in average temperature of the earth atmosphere all this led to the degradation of environment means this degradation of environment can be termed as the deterioration of the environment by pollution deforestation etc this deterioration of environment by pollution degradation etc is termed as degradation of environment now as i have told you people set up industries forest were cleared pollution increased like land pollution water pollution air pollution this all increased and destroying day by day our area the place we live our surroundings it is destroying now this pollution affects uh, across 200 million people and this pollution can be classified into many various types like land pollution air pollution which is all forming the global warming now as in order to stop further degradation of the environment some government government has also made some laws related to uh, stopping the pollution uh, related to stopping the pollution this further degradation should be stopped with the help of judicial and effective efficient use of natural resources the use of renewable energy resources such as wind energy solar energy recycling of waste etc should be done effectively to stop the further degradation of the environment as this degradation of the environment is day by day destroying our surroundings so to stop you can help you can slow down the degradation of environment just because you are essential you are capable you can start a new change so here is an assignment here the chapter ends up here is the sign short assignment short exercises you can perform you can do at home uh, and stay tuned to the videos okay thank you and please complete your assignments on time thank you